Hello students, let us take a look at question number 7 of exercise 13.7. So, we are going to combine actually question number 7 and 8 because they are uh, related to each other. First, we have a right triangle ABC which has sides 5 centimeters, 12 centimeters and 13 centimeters. So, here it is a right triangle which means right angled triangle ABC. Now, it is revolved around the side 12 centimeters, we need to find the volume of the solid obtained. So, first of all, let us draw our right triangle ABC. A, B and C. We know and this is the right angle. We know that in a right angled triangle, the lengthiest side is the hypotenuse. So, this is the hypotenuse which is opposite the right angle. So, if here we compare the different lengths 5 centimeters, 12 centimeters and 13 centimeters, 13 being the lengthiest, this is 13 centimeters and what I am going to do is, I am just going to draw this triangle a little smaller over here this length. So, this becomes 13 centimeters. Now, if you compare these two lengths, this length and this length, obviously this one looks greater. So, this will be 12 centimeters. You can even shorten this length out here and increase the length out here. So, this becomes 5 centimeters. Clear? So, this is your right angle triangle ABC with the different sides mentioned. As mentioned, we have just drawn a diagram. Now, when they say that it is being uh, revolved around the 12 centimeters. So, revolved around 12 centimeters, let us say I just tilt this triangle. This becomes 12, this becomes 5 and this becomes 13. So, when you tilt it around this side, what happens is you get a right circular cone. So, right circular cone will look something like this. So, 5 becomes the radius. 13 becomes the hypotenuse and 12 becomes the perpendicular height. This is the sloping height, this is the perpendicular height and this is the radius. Simple. Now, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and find the volume. So, now I will say since in a right angled triangle, hypotenuse is longest. In triangle ABC, AC is equal to 13 is the hypotenuse. We get BC is equal to 12 centimeters and AB is equal to 5 centimeters. Now, since the triangle is revolved around side with side BC is equal to 12 centimeters. We get a right circular cone with base radius what is the base radius? This is AB is equal to 5 centimeters and perpendicular. So, this symbol stands for perpendicular height is equal to 12 centimeters. Right? You can draw this diagram for reference. So, what I am going to do is I am just going to draw the transformation diagram for our reference. You get 12, 5 and 30. Okay? So, I am going to erase this section now. So, now we have the height and we have the radius. Therefore, volume of cone is equal to 1 upon 3 pi r square h, which is equal to 1 upon 3 into 22 upon 7 into r square, which is 5 square into h, which is 12. So, what do you get? 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12. And you get 5 5 is at 25, 25 into 4 is 25 into 4 is 100, so 2200 upon 7. Centimeter cubes. So, this is the answer. You can even go ahead and find it in decimal points. 
but it's better to leave it as it is why i will tell you because we have question number 8 out here where we need to find the ratio of volumes obtained in question number 7 and 8 so let's leave it as it is for now and i'll mark this as equation number 1 now moving on to question number 8 you have the same triangle abc in question 7 now this one is rotated about the side 5 cm so when you rotate it about the side 5 cm what happens is the second sub question you get the height here as the perpendicular height here as 5 cm the hypotenuse is going to be the same which is 12 13 and this becomes the base radius 12 so this is your cone so now you get the perpendicular height h as 5 and the base radius as 12 so again since triangle abc is rotated about so in this question you will need this diagram as well because here we have drawn the rotated uh, revolved figure or the rotated figure but this is the actual figure for reference where we have marked the triangle abc with their respective dimensions right so it is rotated about ab is equal to 5 cm ab becomes the height perpendicular height which is equal to 5 cm and radius is equal to 12 cm therefore volume of cone we know that it is equal to 1 upon 3 pi r square h which is equal to 1 upon 3 into pi which is 22 upon 7 into r square so r square would be 12 square into h which is Five. So, what is cancelling out here? We don't really see anything cancelling. Okay, let's expand this term. One upon three into twenty-two upon seven into twelve into twelve into five. Right. So, three ones are three. Three fours are twelve. Now, four fives are twenty. Twenty into twelve would give me two forty. Two forty into twenty-two upon seven. So let's just calculate two forty into twenty two. I get two forty into twenty plus two, which is zero zero eight four plus zero four eight. So four thousand eight eight hundred plus four eighty. I get zero eight two five. This gives me five two eight zero upon seven. So this is the volume of cone in question number eight. Let me mark this as question number eight. I'll mark this as two. And this was the first sub question. Now this is the first. Just one minute. This is upon seven. Now we have found the volumes in question number seven and eight. But the second sub question of question number eight states that we need to find the ratio of volumes obtained in question seven and eight. Seven and eight. So when I say ratio of something to something, let's say if I say find the ratio of A to B, it means that A is to B, which means that A upon B, right? So when I'm saying find the ratio volume of seven is to eight, it is nothing but the volume of seven with. Uh, the volume of 7 in the denominator and the volume of 8 in uh, the volume of 7 in the numerator and the volume of 8 in the denominator so the second sub question i'll say volume of cone in question 7 upon volume of cone in question 8 is equal to Twenty-two hundred upon seven into seven upon five two eight zero. So why did I take twenty-two hundred upon seven in the reciprocal of this number? Because this term is going to divide this term. When I say a divided by b, it means the same thing as a into one upon b. 
this is what has happened. I have A and I have B. So when I'm dividing one with the other, the other term becomes the reciprocal. Okay. So you get seven ones are seven, seven ones are seven, zero and zero, and then let's say two elevens are twenty-two and zero, two twos are four, two sixes are twelve, two fours are eight. Then two ones are two, two threes are six, two twos are four, two fives are ten, two fives are ten. Then eleven ones are eleven, eleven twos are twenty-two, eleven fives are fifty-five. So the ratio, volume of cone in question seven upon volume of cone in question eight is equal to five upon twelve. So this ratio is nothing but. Five is to twelve. This is your answer. So I'm just going to write down the answers out here. Over here, this is going to be five two eight zero upon seven. This is going to be five is to twelve, and this one is. So volume of solid is equal to twenty two hundred upon seven. Please take a look at the solution. You have one, two, and this is three. And the answers are listed here. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry, and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page, and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips, and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.